Yo, what's up guys, XM Real here, and I want to talk to you guys about the best double date I've ever been on. So this is a while back, my ex-girlfriend decides she's like the matchmaker or some shit, and she wants to set up her best friend with one of her co-workers, which I said was a terrible fucking idea, but she was pretty adamant about it. And she also decides that for their first date, it should be a double date with us, which also is an equally terrible goddamn idea. So finally the day comes, I pick up my girl, I pick up this kid, we're supposed to meet her best friend at the restaurant, so I'm driving along to the restaurant, and finally we get there, there's nowhere to park, so I drop my girl off, her and her best friend get like a little table, and now it's just me and this kid driving along looking for parking. And keep in mind, this kid's straight from Israel, he's only been here for a few weeks and he's leaving in a couple of months, so there's like a little cultural difference, and he keeps talking about like the type of girl he's looking for, and he starts out by saying, I want to find a girl like my mother. And I'm just like nodding along like, yeah, you know, moms are cool. And then he's like, my mother is so beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, you know, all right, a little creepy, but yeah, your mom's hot. And he's like, my father is such a lucky lady. He's so lucky to come home to her the way she takes care of her. It's just, oh, I wish I, wish I found a girl like my mom. And I'm like, all right, getting a little creepy, but I'm like nodding my head. And then he drops this bomb. He goes... I just want to fuck my mother. And I'm like, oh shit, shit is going down on this day. So I'm kind of a little excited because I'm already thinking in my head, it's only going downhill from here and I'm going to have a great story to tell after this date. So finally I find some parking. I proceed to make my way into the restroom with this motherfucker. And we sit down and immediately I'm trying to get my girl to, you know, take a few minutes. I like take a little walk away from the table so I can tell exactly what this kid just told me in the car to her. And she's like, nah, I want to order. And she's kind of giving me like a bitchy attitude. So I'm like, all right, I'll just wait it out when you want to be not be a cunt, you know. We can go talk about this guy who wants to fuck his mom. And the date's already going really bad. Like, they really don't have a lot in common. And it's like really awkward. And then he orders a burger. And then he reordered the same burger three separate times. Because apparently he fucked up the order three times. And the waiter's kind of pissed. Because the waiter took the order correct every single time. But he kept changing his mind once they brought out the damn burger. So he's like, yeah, could I have a bacon cheeseburger? And then the shit would come out. And then he's like, oh, I don't want cheese or bacon. And then they'd bring out just a plain burger. And he's like, oh, but I want cheese on it. So the guy's a complete cunt. And then finally, I get her to leave the table. So I can tell her that this kid wants to fuck his mom. And I leave the table, I tell her everything, and she's like, oh shit, and I find this hilarious, so I'm laughing, she starts laughing, and I kid you not, by the time we get back to the table, her best friend is screaming, she's like, I'm done, I can't deal with this, this kid's a disgrace, storms out of the restaurant, so now it's just us three sitting along, and now I'm just giving my girl a look like, bitch, told you so, and now I still have to drive this kid home, so keep in mind, the entire time while I'm driving him home, He's just talking shit about my girl's best friend. So my girl's livid at this point. He's calling her a fat whore. How could you associate with such a slob? Just going completely in. And I'm enjoying every second of this. And right before I drop this kid off, he tells me to add him on Instagram. Right when I add him on Instagram, I look at some of the pictures he has. Half of them are pictures of him kissing his mom. And not like normal kisses. Like some creepy, like semi-passionate ones. So he was serious about what he was saying before. And then just me and my girl start talking because this kid's not in the car about the experience we just had. And I tell her immediately, like, I need to post this story on YouTube. And she didn't want me to. But luckily, she's not a part of my life. So I got to share that great story with all you guys. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Share it, please. And also, leave in the comments below any questions you have for me because my next video is going to be a Q&A. So please leave any questions you want and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace out.